Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you all because I've reached 1,000 subscribers. Yay! Today, I'm going to be talking about 8 facts that Italians don't know about America and Americans. The money. It's so hard to understand. Dollars are huge, like compared to euros. This is one cent. It looks like why uh, our five cents. We don't have the two, but we have the dime. And if you don't know what a dime is, you cannot understand it on the coin because it says, it says one dime. A dime is 10 cents. We don't have 50 cents in America. We have a quarter of a dollar that is 25 cents. Here in America, you can pay 25 cents with the credit card. In America, you're gonna see a lot of cars with stickers. If I need to be honest, I would never put a sticker on my car. I feel like I will ruin it. Now that it's election period, election time, a lot of people put a sticker with Bernie or Hillary Clinton. You can also have your personalized driver license plate. And I've seen a lot of people with hearts and stars. <laughs> but if you do something wrong, it's really easy to find you in the traffic. Nobody is 100% American. Um, everybody has something from Europe and something from uh, Africa and something from Asia. And of course, it was a new uh, country discovered by Europeans. Colombo, Colombo. I personally am 100% Italian. Probably the my 15th generation was from another country but i will never know i've never researched it but americans do know where they're from americans have this huge spirit for christmas they have this tradition to take take picture of the family during the year long and then they make Christmas cards to send to all their friends. It's a really nice idea just having everybody, probably people that you haven't been in touch with, just sending their Christmas picture. We don't do that. I don't know about the other countries, but we don't send Christmas cards. I will do that. I would do that even in Italy. Americans are really calm people. Calm and chill compared to Italians or probably Europeans. I went to this concert. It was a Maroon 5 concert and the ticket showed that the gate will open it was 7.30? 7.30? I went there at 7 waiting in line and I was surprised. I was literally the first one getting there. You know, at a concert there is the opening and there are like three, uh, two bands performing before the actual band. So what they do is they get there as late as possible. Americans started to show up probably five minutes before the Maroon 5 performed. And I'm so like, what? Italians, like, I don't know if it's for the money, but I want to see the whole show. I paid for it and I want to see all of it. They are chill. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get there. 8.45 for concert at 9. Ah, chill, chill, chill. They do have a lot of different religions. It's not weird. It's not weird. Uh, but the thing that, um, I don't know, I was pretty shocked about is that in one town, also a small town, you probably have four different churches for each religion and I'm not used to it because in Italy we just have one 
um, one Catholic church each town if you believe in another religion big cities do have one I don't have a queue to start eating everybody sits down and they just start eating every time that I'm with my parents and my family until my dad or my grandpa starts saying buon appetito I don't start eating because I want everybody to have their plates in front it's just weird when you're like waiting for buon appetito and nobody says that am I gonna eat or not? they have this chemical in the food that are not allowed in Europe it's weird it's really weird I remember the first time that I realized how poor the quality of food is here is when my friend wanted to go to McDonald's and there was a huge sign saying in this restaurant we serve some type of food with this kind of chemical there is not a lot in the state of California and at first I was like what? what? I know for a fact in Italy everything is controlled we have our health department that seriously asked to put where the food is from where it has been produced what it has in it and the expiration date expiration date is really hard to find in american products you seriously need to just move the package everywhere and if you're lucky you're gonna find it if you're not there is no expiration date at the beginning i had a really bad skin reaction probably due to uh, food poisoning and seriously i got really sick I feel all the all the hormones that they put in the meat so i stopped eating meat and i don't know even my apples even if i buy the organic one they just stay there for weeks for days this was pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it and thank you again for the 1000 subscribers i'm gonna do a um, video tag next time so guys i want a lot of questions whatever you want to ask me i'm gonna put in put your question in the next video so i'll see you next time